Paris in all its beauty and glory, from the architecture to the food, from the crowded streets filled with tourists from around the globe, and the essential need for the city to have all its hotels full in the month of July and August while the locals flee the city. Here are five things you can do that are often dismissed by the tourists and yet lie with a certain calmness standing on their own waiting for visits. Renowned for his influence on the Surrealism movement, Gustave Moreau transformed his home into what he called a mini-museum in the late 19th century, and permits an immersive experience into his personal surroundings. Once you have enjoyed where Moreau spent his life, you may find yourself wandering up eccentric spiral stairs leading to his atelier. With countless paintings and drawings hung up on every wall of his home, a one-hour visit of this small museum will permit you to see into the mind of the painter while feeling cozy and calm. This is also a great place for anyone interested in sketching as his pieces hold so much to say and attention to detail is key. Some of his sketches are displayed behind short curtains on the walls below the windows, so don't be scared to take a peek and let yourself plunge into the creative mind of Gustave Moreau. In 1898, when Moreau passed away, he left his testament speaking for himself, saying that his only and final wish was for his collection to be left untouched and displayed in all its character for the public to enjoy and to celebrate his incredible work and efforts throughout his life. With an acreage of 8.2 and a 1 km round pathway, the Parc Mousseau first opened its doors after the cousin of Louis XVI, Duke Philip Orleans, transformed his wealth appearing field into a park. The Duke was a lover of all things English and wanted his park to reflect the utmost English details. With entrances all around the park, you will find yourself entering through gold-tipped iron gates, which most will be left in awe of. Upon strolling a little further, you will land on this particular temple where the second floor was reserved as an apartment for the Duke himself. As you proceed with your stroll around the breathtaking and well-maintained park, you will come across delicate statues built to ornate the surroundings built by multiple artists. If you lived through the Parisian fantasy before setting foot in the actual city, you might have also found paintings from Claude Monet or Gustave Caillebotte of the park itself. So don't be shy and take a look where these talented minds and souls took inspiration from the city. After you finish with your stroll in Parc Monceau, you can also walk in the neighborhood surrounding the park to get a glimpse of les hôtels particuliers, which are what you might call in English mini mansions that are small buildings fully inhabited by one family still to this day. The park is often filled with young locals to either sunbathe or have picnics, but it is also a great place to go alone and find a quiet large patch of grass to read or journal in a magnificent and calm scenery. If you are looking for some place that is hip, young, and where you can find anything from clothing to home decor to headphones, the Merci Concept Store is perfect for just that. Hidden in a courtyard based in the 3rd arrondissement, this decade-old store always finds a way to rejuvenate their one-of-a-kind creative ideas and setup of the store. During different seasons and times of year, the whole store goes through a 180 transformation which gives an impression of a complete new store. This boutique is unique in its way of being and presenting itself with many things to simply look and admire at or gain inspiration from for a prospective home or apartment. Other than the shopping, you may also find Merci to provide good sweet stops in their cafes where you can work or read at one of their tables while being surrounded with young and fun energy. Built in the 19th century, this colorful Hôtel Particulier, which is now known as the Museum of Romantic Life, can be found at the foot of Montmartre Hill. This tiny museum has free admissions for the permanent collection, but comes with a cost for the temporary ones. Ari Schaffer, a Dutch friend painter, inhabited this home when first built, where he hosted Friday evening salons with his daughter, where important and famous people were invited. The museum holds its romantic name because of his recreation of the Romantic period and the ability to transport you through time in its old four walls. You can find paintings, 
jewelry, furniture, French literature, and much more throughout all floors of the home. Not only is this house itself a stunning, cozy, and homey, but also is a small garden which can be found at the foot of the entrance where a small cafe and coffee tables have been arranged for visitors to order a snack or a drink while spending a moment in the environments of the painter and absorbing what brought him so much inspiration and creativity. Be sure to look out for it as it is tucked away behind the astonishing Paris buildings. Notorious for its almost 5 km long stroll following the Old Vincennes railway line, the Coulée Verte, or otherwise known as La Promenade Plantée, is a wonderful, romantic, and charming walk to do. With extensive views of Paris and its streets, the walkway came about in 1988 after Philippe Mathieu and Jacques Vergely came together after the railway was abandoned in 1969 where wild vegetation grew. It begins behind the Bastille Opera House and goes all the way to the Chateau de Vincennes with exits in the middle. While you are strolling along the narrow and beautiful walkway, you will perceive Paris through a different lens with the ability to view the top of buildings which cannot be seen on the street. If you have seen the Before trilogy, you may recognize this spot from the second movie, Before Sunset, where Celine and Jessie stand. Shops and boutiques can also be found under the bridge, which are usually concept stores with interesting and invigorating designs. This is one of my all-time favorite spots in Paris and would highly encourage you to go for the full and long walk as there is so much to see, yet keeps you calm and serene.